Hi everyone, so today's video is a very requested video and this is to do with books that I think fashion students should have or look at or be inspired by or just books in general that I think would help. The last three years I have been doing a fashion and textiles BA and I have accumulated a few books here that I think are particularly the most helpful to me and that I think might help you if you're studying fashion or textiles or you know and in the description section of this video I'll have links if you would like to purchase any of them or you want to have a look or maybe you know request them at your li local library or anything so um, these are just some of the books that I found very very helpful I graduate this October so I will still be using these books and yeah let's just start so the first one I have is this one it is called design your fashion portfolio so as you can see I have lots of post-it notes in this book and I have to be honest I didn't really start using this one until my second year but this is really good because um, it kind of teaches you everything you kind of need to know about a fashion portfolio so for example there's pages in here about design and structure and examples and just it's very very handy and it's got sections for menswear it's got um, how to kind of lay out toiles and things like that, so prototypes, um, it's also got pages for, I mean I could just literally flick through this entire book, you know, web presence and how to structure and order, it's just an incredible, incredible book, you know, if you want to go down the path of lingerie, children's wear, men's wear, just any avenue really and how to put your um, fabric swatches and things like that in it so it is definitely one of the most handy 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 books I love this book I just think it's just such an inspirational book especially if you get stuck on ideas for your portfolio or if you're working on something and you don't really know how to put it together um, I think this book is fantastic the other book I have is this one right here, it is the Pantone on Fashion, a century of colour in design. Oh my gosh, the lighting, I am sorry, is absolutely crazy in this video. So this is one of my favourite, favourite books because um, I like colour, you know, and basically what this book is, is it's just colour. So you go through all the different colours and the great thing is if you guys are working on a project where you have to maybe list Pantone colour references and things like that, there are shades of just all colours along the bottom and it's got the Pantone references and the name of each colour on the bottom and it's also got, it's got some examples of how designers have used those colours, whether it's within print or I don't know if this is knit or laser cut, I think that's knit, um, solid colours kind of mix and matching so you kind of have this idea of how it's used and then also some information about the colour itself which I think is fantastic and it literally goes through pretty much the entire colour spectrum so it's a really handy book to have if you want to kind of go down the path of knowing more about colour or if you're stuck and you're doing a project and you want to just find colours basically because sometimes it can be really difficult thinking of colours or trying to do it on Photoshop and just finding the right colour and you know does this go with this whilst if you have a book on it I just found this so 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 handy the other book um, so I'm going more into pattern cutting now so this book right here I'll go with this one first um, was one of the kind of requested books that we look at um, when I first started in the first year and it is the Win Winifred Aldrich, Aldrich book and it's the metric pattern cutting for women's wear this is the fifth edition there are so many of these books it is kind of crazy so I'm not the best person at all in terms of pattern cutting I get very confused very easily and this book is great because it literally tells you exactly how 
to cut different types of collars, different types of sleeves, and if you know how to do a basic version of it, which they taught us at college or university, as they call it, um, then it's great because all you have to do is just follow the instructions and it just shows you how to basically do all the different types of well everything trousers you can do jumpsuits and it's very very simple um, in my opinion and I really really like it and if you're stuck on like design ideas or things like that you know you can just have a look through it and when you come to make it you'll know how to make it because it also has it has it all in here um, so I think that book is fantastic the other one is this one it's called pattern magic and this one is by a Japanese um, designer and this is more like TR cutting and it's very like innovative pattern cutting it's I really like this so we did a project in our second year called diversity and I really kind of took a strong liking to TR cutting and it looked really complicated complicating at first but the more you kind of do it the more it makes sense um, so kind of more like 3d work and yeah so I would definitely suggest checking this out it's very very unique very different and you can adapt this into just about anything dresses trousers skirts the whole shebang I love this book and they have lots and lots of versions of this they have I think a jersey one the drape one uh, they have a few versions of the pattern magic as well so I highly highly recommend checking that out so this is more for like sketching and idea generation this is a fashionary I got this from the fashion textiles museum in London and I actually got, got two of them and I'm not sure why I got two of them because I actually haven't really used them at all So I got these last year but what I absolutely love about this particular book is the fact that it just has the most insane amount of information <laughs> in the beginning of it. So it's got lots and lots of brands on here in case anyone is, you know, it never really goes on to like Vogue right away. Um, so yeah, you've got tons and tons of brands on here. You've got lots and lots of books, like really, really helpful books on here which I haven't checked out, online magazines, places where you can watch and um, look at catwalk reports, um, sites for sewing, sites for 3D modelling, sites for production if anyone is interested, sites for business, illustration, styling, trends, trend books, um, communities, trend spotting, illustrators, photographers, it's just got a whole bunch of incredible websites and books on here, blogs that are really good, you've got body measurements, the basic patterns on here as well more patterns more patterns swimwear collars quad it literally goes on and then you've got different styles of shoes and hats you can even do your own spec sheets on here i can't even turn the pages anymore <laughs> fabric information this is quite cool care label information you've got knitting seams and stitches i just can't turn the pages on this when i'm on camera <laughs> Care label information. We've got different fonts that could be quite useful, um, and then ways to lay out your pages in a portfolio. Like, how cool is that? Like, I wish I'd come across that earlier. And poses for fashion illustrations. Um, you've got the catwalk schedule, which is quite cool. Apparently, this might change though. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have recently like been on the business of fashion, I'm totally out of focus, I'm just going to wait, business of fashion or anything, but Burberry and Tom Ford have kind of gone against the grain and they've moved their schedule around, which could be quite interesting. Trade fairs, if anyone is interested, Indigo, Premier Vision, and then you've got a calendar. And then this is the bit that is the most exciting. So you might not be able to see it, but there are little dots on here. I really don't think you can see it, but it's, it's a woman's body, but it's made in really little dots and basically what you can do is fill it with your designs and it literally goes on for the rest of the book. So I've heard a lot of designers do this, but they put you know a notebook or something by their bed and sometimes they'll think of an idea and they'll forget about it. But if you have one of these just by a bed or something and you think of something really cool, then you can just 
jot it down, which I think is quite a sweet little thing. And it's also really handy because it's got a lot of stuff in it. Um, so this is, I think you can go on their website, which is just fashionary. Yeah, fashionary.org. So yeah, you can get one of these if you'd like. I haven't used it yet, as I just mentioned, but I wish I would use it more because I think it is quite a handy thing to have. So the other one is, so this book is quite textiles based and I got this from the New Designers Show in London, which I'm going to be showing at this year, which is quite exciting, um, in June, end of June, beginning of July is when it happens. They have a little stand. But Lawrence King, they have one at Graduate Fashion Week as well, so it comes like this. And if you're a student, you can get like 15% off. They have a website as well, and you can buy their books online with a discount. So this is the book that I got, and I have to be honest, I used it once. But the book itself is incredible. It just depends on the projects that I'm doing. If you're doing textiles, this is an amazing book to have. You just projects for like textiles, and it's all digital, but you can just make prints and it shows you how to do it and then that's the dress so the one that I used although I'll show you a couple more so that's an image and then they show you how to like render it and ta-da you have a skirt with your print on it which is quite cool and they're very very easy to do so this is the one that I actually used this is like shibori so you dye the fabric and then you scan it into Photoshop like that and then at the end of it, you have your print on a dress. Um, so yeah, I got that one. Love it. The other book that I got, which I think is quite handy for starting out drawing, is this one. It's the Technical Drawing for Fashion. This book um, I've seen everywhere. <laughs> it's a good book to have. I don't even know. It's about £22.50 is what it says on the back. Great for portfolio skills. And it comes with a CD which I ripped out of the book, which wasn't a great idea, but yeah, so you've got some templates on there as well, and it's just great to like start drawing really basic shapes, and what these basic shapes will then help you to do is to draw more and more, and yeah, it just it's really great for drawing flat drawings, which just about everyone in the industry that's what they want. So yeah, it just it's just a book full of how to draw flat drawings. So I think that is a very handy thing to have because majority of the industry, they don't just make fashion illustrations now, they want flat drawings. It, this book was very expensive, I think. Um, this is what it looks like. This book is incredible. It is literally, it's not a Pantone book by any chance. Um, it's a book of illustrations, like, I used to be really obsessed with this when I was doing my a because I was like, I will never be able to draw like this, and to be honest, I still can't draw like this, um, but it's incredible, it like kind of shows you how to shade things in, um, with like Copic markers, with pens, with, you've got shoes. We got lingerie, um, men's fashion as well. Let me just find a really good one to kind of show you, I guess, this one. I love this book. It's good to look at. Um, I think you can definitely get a lot of ideas. There's a bit of children's wear in here as well. Don't know how much of this is actually in focus and how much isn't, but it's very cool. How to draw eyes as well, that's a good one. How to draw the human face, the human body. Not gonna lie, it is a very, very, very heavy book. Um, but then, you know, that's that one. Another one for fashion illustration is this one. This I got ages ago, I got this when I was doing my GCSEs, which was like five years ago, six years ago now. Um, and it's got lots of ways of doing different illustrations. So, line and shape. Like, you know, the quality of your lines. Um, the sun has come out as well, so that's fabulous. <laughs> the pose and how important that is. Faces. The viewpoint 
Um, and basically just, you know, things like ruffles and how to draw those because, you know, those can be a little bit complicated. Jackets, fur, you have to draw it. Yeah, I love that. I love this book. Um, it's very handy, especially for people that are starting off with illustration. But if you're a complete new beginner, totally, totally, totally recommend this book. This was my first ever fashion book that I bought. I can't believe I left it till last. This is the first one I got. This is Fashion Design, Drawing and Presentation. This is the simplest book to follow because first of all, first thing you get is like this little illustration and then you can see how you can draw over the top. And I used to just put a bit of paper over it and I just used to trace and try and draw my own outfits on top. You've got side view and then you've got another model and you can kind of see how you can shade your hat there's everything in here how to lay out a page in a portfolio menswear as well um yeah i love this book i got it for about seven pounds on ebay um it retails for about 13 but i'm sure you can get a cheaper version of it okay so those are my main books and then I think if you're going more subject specific so you know this is another book that I have which is Concept to Customer which I like reading um, I'm studying fashion design and basically it's got like a little case study on a brand and then it shows kind of how it's done logistics and the supply chain and just more about the business because business and fashion are very very important retail strategy and this is just completely based on fashion so i absolutely love this book it's called concept to customer i got this from the vna in london those are my books if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe and if you have any books that you'd like to recommend to me to check out definitely let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to know more about any of these books let me know or you can email me which is on my channel and uh yeah i'll see you guys very very soon and if you have any like requests for videos definitely let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys very very soon